Hey guys, this is going to be my e-bike rack for the caravan drawbar. Uh, this would apply to, I think, anything with the drawbar, be it trailer or caravan. Um, this one I'm a bit more restricted in space because I've got the stone guard on there on the Eco Tourer. Uh, it's also a folding drawbar on this. Um, not quite sure how that's going to work just yet, uh, but I'm going to use tech screws to put my rack here and here so it'll lay across there and it's made up of a couple of lengths of galvanized 25 mil square tube and this end bit the tire fits in here clamp that over the tire that gives it a bit of stability while you're strapping it down properly and I run a tie down strap around there and then round the uh, the head tube uh, of the bike and strap that down nice and firmly onto the front wheel. So that stops the bike falling over. And to protect the wheels, I've used some, uh, this is just PVC uh, electrical tubing that I've cut to about the length of my tires. So it gives me about the right gap and then use some screws to hold that all together. So that's nice and sturdy. And I've, I've spaced these out for the front and back wheel. So they sort of sit in there. So it's a fairly simple sort of railing frame that you could really adapt to anything. It's nice and strong. Um, so I'm just gonna put some holes in that for some tech screws and then screw it to the caravan drawbar and we'll see how we go. That's the theory. So here's the bike on the rack without the the front sort of not sure what you'd call this stabilizing leg let me pull this up onto the wheel here and as i say in transit i wrap a tie down strap from there around the top of the suspension crown there or the head tube uh, and tighten that right up um, while i wouldn't you probably could travel with it like that because it is re reasonably uh, reasonably sturdy but it does put a fair bit of sort of stress on that joint down there so I think what I would do instead is once I'm ready to go just I'll make up some sort of little bracket here maybe across to that frame member there so that absolutely locks it to that and then it can't go anyway and with a couple of straps around the wheel and around the frame down here a couple of tie down straps there um, it can't jump off it can't jump out with that there, it can't wobble side to side. That will be pretty secure. Uh, the other thing, just be careful if you're drilling into the tow bar, um, tow bar, the draw bar, drilling in like I did there, notice the wires coming out on the right hand side. Uh, now I did get a mirror and a torch and have a good look down there and made sure those wires are right down the bottom so my drill bit didn't accidentally skewer the, uh, the wires. So there's just four tech screws holding that on there one on either either side front and back and that seems pretty solid and I can take it off within sort of you know 30 seconds with my uh, impact driver drill and my chain needs are clean but these e-bikes are pretty heavy that this thing's at least 25 kilos I think so lifting it up onto the usual bike carrier on the back of a car no forget that so what I've ended up doing here is popping a strap between the uh, the back rack and the handle on the van and another one between the stone guard and the bike and that means it can't wobble at all. I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on that and that is not moving. So that's all nice and stable. Uh, another thing I've had to do is where I've had those PVC spaces down here, I've just popped on an extra piece of pipe on top of the rack there just so when the tyre comes up over the spacer, it doesn't wander off the track, which was being a little bit weird. Look, if I was doing this from scratch, I'd actually use channel, which would make everything a lot easier, but uh, it, this is just what I had in the shed, so I may do with what I had. And that sits up there sort of nicely out of the way. It's even a bit protected by the stone guard. Uh, with this, you'd probably want to take the bike off uh, as soon as you sort of get anywhere so you can open up the um, the front of the uh, the boot of the van and put the jockey wheel back on. It's a little difficult to put on and off with the jockey wheel there. So 
uh, put the bike on last thing once everything's hooked up to the car, take the bike off first, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs>